The fanboy wars between Apple and Samsung will go on as long as both companies are around, as will the debates around which flagship device is more powerful. The truth is that most devices are more than powerful enough for our daily needs, but since we got our hands on both of them, Apple Insider decided to run some benchmarks to compare the two devices. The iPhone X's A11 Bionic processor has six cores total, with two high-performance cores and four efficiency cores. It also has a three-core graphics chip and three gigabytes of RAM. The Note 8 has an eight-core processor with four high-performance cores and four more efficient cores. It also has six gigabytes of RAM, twice as much as the 10. It's worth noting that the Note 8 is running more pixels, which takes more power to render. However, more cores doesn't always mean more performance. There are a limited amount of apps that can actually put up to six and eight cores to use. A lot of apps actually use one or two cores, with more apps these days slowly transitioning into using more. We'll take a look at Geekbench 4 single core benchmark scores in just a second, but let's go through some other benchmarks first. Starting with the Antutu benchmark, the iPhone 10 comes in at around 31% faster than the Note 8. In Basemark OS 2, the 10 is 17% faster. In 3 d Mark's Slingshot Extreme benchmark, the scores were very similar, with the Note 8 gaining a small advantage. Let's move on to a couple browser benchmarks. Keep in mind that it's not purely based on the device, but also on the browser. Chrome is now the default for the Note 8, and of course, Safari for the iPhone 10. In Antutu's HTML5 test, the iPhone 10 was 62% faster than the Note 8. The iPhone 10 completely destroyed the Note 8 in the Jetstream 1.1 JavaScript benchmark. This may be due to optimization issues with Chrome, so don't give the iPhone 10 too much credit. Now let's finally get to the popular Geekbench 4 benchmark. For the single core test, the iPhone 10 blew the Note 8 out of the water, with over double the score. Apple's iPhones are known for strong single core performance, and since most applications benefit more from powerful single cores than multiple weaker cores, even dual core iPhones were able to keep up in performance when Android devices were already moving up to four and more cores. Moving on to the multi-core test, the iPhone X is actually 53% faster than the Note 8, even though the Note 8 has eight cores, compared to six on the iPhone X. Finishing off with the GPU benchmark, the iPhone X was 59% faster than the Note 8, but that's using Metal on the iPhone. Also keep in mind that even though the GPU test shows that much more of a performance boost, the more realistic Slingshot Extreme benchmark scores were similar. Either way, both devices are extremely powerful, but these tests show that Apple comes out the clear winner. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.